I love a mushroom coffee, but they're so expensive. I'm going to show you how I make mine using this reishi mushroom you see here. Now the one that I have, I've already grated up quite a bit, but you can see here these are kind of hard, like wood. You can use a grater to grate them. You can use the shavings to make an herbal tea or include them in an herbal coffee blend like I'm going to show you here. It's one of three ingredients and I'll show you the other two ingredients in just a minute, but let's chat about this mushroom. So it's the queen of mushrooms. Immortality mushroom is what it's called in TCM. It's body and mind balancing. I particularly like it because it's good for focus and memory, memory, heart health, supports kidney and liver health, boosts your gut health, builds your immune system, and it's great for mood support. They say that it's actually more calming than um, lemon balm, and yet it helps you with focus. It's anti-cancer, it naturally regulates your hormones, and it, it helps to lower cortisol levels and support circulation, and a great um, herb to take for chronic inflammation. Moving on to my next ingredient is dandelion roots, and I'm harvesting my own, as you can see here, but you can purchase them too, just like you could purchase the reishi powder if you wanted. Um, the dandelion roots, I use those because they have so many vitamins and minerals. They got A, C, K, E, folate, B vitamins, iron, calcium, magnesium, and especially potassium, which is a biggie. Um, that I like it for because potassium, due to the content, it may help lower blood pressure and it helps promote liver health, reduce cholesterol and triglycerides, fights inflammation, loaded with antioxidants. Um, it might have anti-cancer effects, antiviral and antibacterial. And some studies have been done to show that it actually reduces the impact of damaging ultraviolet rays when we're talking about your skin. So for that reason, they say that it is even an anti-aging herb. Now, with all of these things, keep in mind you need to do your own research. You need to make sure that this is good for you. I'm just sharing what I do and what works well for me. Once you get these all chopped up like this, the next thing we're gonna do is put them into the oven. And we're gonna set our oven at 350 degrees. We're gonna roast them. So we've got them on the cookie sheet here. You put them in the oven for about an hour and then you'll pull them out and you wanna make sure that they look nice and toasty. So I put them in the coffee grinder here and I grind those up to a nice powder. And then once you've got that, you're ready to go ahead and make your coffee blend. Here's chicory. Chicory is actually in the dandelion family. I purchased mine because I don't grow it. All right, so first thing in, we're adding in the dandelion. Then we're going to add our chicory. I'm doing about three parts chicory to one part dandelion root and one part reishi mushroom. You see that here. Now get them blended up, and then you're ready to put them into a tea bag and put them on the stove. <clears throat> now these are all hardy herbs. They're root herbs and what you need to do is when you put them on the stove, you want to let them simmer, not boil, but kind of simmer for about 20 minutes so you can get all the good stuff out of there. This is just like a cup of coffee, guys. Do you see this? A little tip for you if you're cutting yourself off caffeine, add in some cayenne pepper. That'll give you a little giddy up go in the morning. And then go ahead and add your creamer or whatever else you usually add to your coffee and voila, here is your uh, mushroom coffee. So I hope you all try this. I hope you enjoyed the, the recipe. And if you have any questions, um, please let me know down in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, keep your joy.